Hi, welcome to Tag Div's tutorial section. In this video, we'll be giving you a quick guided tour of the newspaper theme panel. For more in-depth information, please refer to our theme documentation. Before we begin, please note that in this video, we already have the newspaper theme and the plugins installed. When you first install newspaper, you will be redirected to this welcome screen, which consists of several tabs that allow you to access our support section, install demos, manage your plugins, and check your system status. Let's give you a brief overview of each area. As you can see it here under the Install Demos tab, Newspaper offers you a good start in building your site. You don't have to create everything from scratch. Just choose a template and start building an amazing website. Each demo was built using only the theme options, and you can install it with a single click. If you decide to change the demo or uninstall it, the import system will make sure that your website is clean. No additional sidebars, menus, or content. It will leave your website just like it was before you installed the demo. Under the Support tab, you can access the support forum, the theme documentation, and the playlist of narrated video tutorials. In the System Status tab, you can check how your system is performing. Under this tab, you can monitor your website by color code, Yellow status means that the site will work as expected on the front end, but it may cause problems in WP Admin. Green means the system passed the test and it performs as expected. The theme panel, which is located under the newspaper tab here, is the operative center of the theme. There are numerous options neatly organized into tabs for easy access. As an example, let's take a look at the logo. Here, you can upload your custom logo and also set unique logos for mobile devices. Let's upload our default logo, which will be used throughout the website. Save your settings. Please note that many of theme panel settings are global options, which means they will affect your entire website. To control pages or posts individually, you can use the page or post settings, which override the global settings. These settings can be found in the editing section of every page or post. Now click Publish or Update to save the settings. Done! For more in-depth information, please refer to our theme documentation. I hope you'll enjoy building new pages for your website as much as I am using themes for smart people. Thank you for watching.